Today we find out which is better, Legendary Collection 2 or Raw Yellow Mega Pack. What's up guys, today we're gonna be opening a Raw Yellow Mega Pack first edition box, which is a pretty rare box versus Legendary Collection 2, not one, but four. And you might wonder why they're already open. That's because I started recording and then my camera ran out of space, AKA my phone, and it didn't save. So yeah, we've opened one pack of each. I'll show you, we have not got anything too crazy so far. Raw Yellow Mega Pack pulled these foils and then we have these from Legendary Collection 2. The cool part about these sets is they're very similar. They have a lot of the same cards. Some are different rarities and stuff like that, but a lot of the same cards. So I wanted to compare these two and see which was better. There was only 20 of these packs because we used four. These promos count for about $40 in value. So that's kind of like the extra four packs there and the little advantage for being unlimited. So a little bit of a bonus. So they have a big lead already. The score is up on the screen for the first packs that you guys missed. And of course we had a giveaway that you guys didn't see. We have Amazing Defenders First Edition. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know if you think Legendary Collection GX Dual Academy Years or Raw Yellow Mega Pack will win this battle. All right, so this is a weird video because I felt like I had a great intro earlier and then all of a sudden it's gone. You know, you can only see the face cam, so it doesn't really work. Let's just keep going. Maybe we'll cut, you know, right to the opening, just like you guys like. Legendary Collection 2, I was talking a little bit about the commons and rares back on the previous video. Uh, the rares in this set are actually pretty good. There's some pretty high value ones. Legendary Collection 2 has some crazy commons as well. Ryo's a decent card. We're going to pull that out for the Raw Yellow Mega Pack. We got a uh, rare value, Ubel, Terra Incarnate. Ubel is a regular rare. It's a few, like, it's like eight bucks or something like that. So that's a good one. Uh, regular Ubel, at least. That one's probably okay. Come on. We've got Dimensional Fissure. I would, I would wager a gander. I don't think that's how you say that. Another DD Crow. That that's a probably a good one as well. Oh, this is good. Rainbow Neos. This used to be better. I think it recently got a reprint, but this used to be a crazy common. I bet it's still worth a couple of bucks. Still very solid pulls so far for Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Uh, it is a very expensive box, so I'm expecting some value out of it. And there's not a lot of crazy high, like $50, $100 pulls. There's like none of those actually, but almost every pack gives you like a few two to three to five to dollar cards. It's a lot of quantity value, like a bunch of different nice cards. All right, Legendary Collection 2. So far, you've had a nice pull. Uh, there's some really good commons we got to look out for. And then like the Glow Neos rare is like eight bucks for some reason. I sold one of those the other day. I was like, wow, this is crazy money malicious is a good card i don't think it's a dollar this is a big one this is like a three dollar card i think you can't really find wing Kribo level 10 that easily so nice common we've got a dark lord desire that's a super rare malicious edge i think that is a couple of bucks even though i don't know who's buying this and for what reason i guess maybe collection cyber phoenix you can use that in some old formats and fake hero just a rare any other cool commons not in that one okay next pack raw yellow mega pack Let's see what we can get. Will we pull something big? This is like 20 or 44 packs tonight. So it's a lot. Well, it's tonight for me. It's the middle of the day for you guys. But uh, oh, it's speak of the devil. Kind of the devil, honestly. So you bell. Very good rare. That's big. Jane the Lights from Paladin. Probably nice for those Edison decks. Destiny Draw. I probably could be using some hero stuff. Might be a little bit. And then Dark and Dragon for Edison. I, I mean, this is GX. So a lot of it's going to be Edison. You know, the late GX stuff is very strong. Grandmaster. I wonder if that's worth anything. Uh, we got Electrum and Rainbow Dark Dragon. A lot of these cards are pretty warped, which is interesting. Look how warped they are. Which is, it's not horrible, horrible, but it is very noticeable, I would say. Or at least noticeable. Not very noticeable, but noticeable. Legendary Collection 2. Here's your chance to bring it back. I got to keep an eye on my cameras now. I really hope they don't die. We got Mariner or like run out of room. Oh, Rux and Special right into the Burst Inatrix. I think Dogma is actually pretty decent. Burst Inatrix Alt Art is a very good one. I think this is around a $10 card in Unlimited. We have a Dark Fusion. This, I sold one of these the other day. It's like 350, so that's pretty solid as well. And then Terra Firma Gravity. So as I was saying, it's like, there's not a lot of big value cards, but you just keep pulling value. It's like 10 bucks, three bucks, you know, two bucks, $8 rare, you know, crazy stuff like that. So that's why I like opening these and I like doing the versus battles with these. And look, there's the alt art. I wonder if that's worth anything in common. As I was saying, I just so much to say about these. The, the same sets, just different rarities. It's pretty wild. So we got secret on one side, common on the other side. That thing has been dinged, unfortunately. I wonder if this common is worth anything. I'm not really sure. Rainbow Gravity, we have Elemental Hero Neos as a common, as always, gets destroyed and screwed. Venomonaga, the Deity of Poison Snakes. Dimensional Prison, that's a good ultra rare. Secret rare, Hero Flash. Beautiful card. I don't think it's going to be worth a lot. The ulti of this is crazy money, though. I feel like I've been talking at 100 miles an hour in this video. Have I been? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Hero Blast, super rare. And look, guys, I had done a 10-minute thing before you guys even showed up. Well, it wasn't 10 minutes. Some of it was me opening this. Unfortunately, you guys are going to miss the part where I actually opened the box, but 
Oh, well, it doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. All right, I gotta take my, you know, catch my breath over here. I'm, you know, speaking at 100 miles an hour, we have Hero Barrier, Elements of Hero Lady Heat. I'm actually excited about this video. I really like these products. Evil Hero Wild Cyclone, super rare. Oh, a Cyber in Dragon. And this is not as much as you think. I think I sold one of these for like four bucks the other day. I mean, a really beautiful copy of a card for only four bucks. Honestly, not bad. I think he actually had a print in the Speed Duel thing, didn't he? So that might've hurt a secret rare value. Octavius is cool. We got the uh, Crystal Blessing as well. Blade Master, Plasma Vice. Some of these Elements of Hero commons are worth a randomly large amount of money. So that could be one of them. Royal Mega Pack, it's your time to shine. A lot of packs to go. Test Tiger. Here's one of the ones that's big. I think this is like a $5 card. So that's like the best common in the set, I think. Test Tiger, regular old common. We got a Fusion Recovery, Hero Mask, Cyber and Dragon Alternate Art. So we don't have the regular one. I don't, maybe you do. I don't know. There's the alternate art. We got Jane Lights Warren Paladin. Didn't we pull one of these in the other set just a second ago? Crystal Abundance. So the crystal stuff is not really what you're looking for. What I want to pull out of Legendary Collection uh, GX that I know is different from Royal Mega Pack is the Gladiator Beast stuff from my Edison deck. I have a lot of them in Secret Rare, but not every card in there is Secret Rare out. And I have checked Royal Mega Pack. It doesn't really have any Secret Rare Glad Beasts, or at least not many of them compared to this one. So I want to pull them out of Legendary Collection GX while we're opening these. Thunder Giant Common, pretty cool. Hero Ring. I always think maybe this is worth something, and it's like 40 cents every time. Gallus of Star Beast, not the Secret Rare we're looking for for we got a white knight dragon also beautiful in secret rare and ancient prophecy amazing looking and then the steam healer the healer of the steam instant neo space and dunka there's lebron okay next pack raw yellow mega pack let's do this judgment dragon okay jd right off the bat i remember i pulled uh we pulled this in auction series we didn't end up using it but pretty awesome common card card blocker offering the snake deity flame wingman so this is one we pulled in our first pack and i didn't mention it because well you don't have the footage anymore, but it was like a 250 uh, rare, so pretty strong there. Gladiator Proving Ground. Here's another nice one. This can upgrade my Gladiator Proving Ground and my Gladiator Beast deck. So no secret rare, but it is an ultra. I have commons right now, so that's good. Cyber Dragon Alt Art Secret Rare. One of the best cards in the set. Very, very nice. Neospatial and Grand Mall. Also a nice super rare printing. Very nice hollow pattern on these. Sparkman Common. So it has them all as like commons. There's a regular Cyber Dragon. So we get two Cyber Dragons in one pack. Imagine back in the day, that would have been sick. But I think by the time this came out, uh, Royal Mega Pack, I think it was like 2010, 2011. Uh, you probably didn't want even want Cyber Dragon at that point, but very cool card. System down. We have Elemental Hero Neos, Lady Heat, Mudball Man. Very cool. A oh, and there's the Glad Beast we're looking for. The Darius Secret Rare. Dark Fusion. We will pull this all day. It's a great ultra rare. Uh, fake hero. I want to, I want to know what the score is. I bet there is a lot of value popping up on the screen right now because it feels like, I mean, I, it's almost impossible to have a pack. I'm going to say this and jinx us, but to have a pack with like nothing, that's a dollar. I mean, almost all of them, them do it's possible, but it's less likely than likely. You're more likely to have something with, you know, multiple dollar cards. There's the mud ball man that we just saw as a super rare is just a common. Now we've got the uh, Sh Shogun Shein offering the snake deity. You bell the ultimate nightmare. I think we have all three rares now, which is pretty cool. We've got Miracle Fusion for Edison. I don't think this is big money. I don't even think it's a dollar. Okay, I jinxed myself. We're definitely gonna pull one with no dollar cards. We got Righteous Justice and Amethyst Cat. I think that was it. I think we just pulled one with no value. Okay, I definitely jinxed myself. Rainbow Ruins is pretty cool to see. All right, this is gonna be kind of a longer video because like these are both kind of like every every pack, you got multiple rares. You know, we got a lot of packs here, so there's a lot to look at. Marine Neos might actually be money. I'm not sure about that. Prisma's good. Dreadmaster is a cool card, super rare. Banish of the Radiance, I think about three bucks if I had to guess. Macrocosmos has our second copy of that. And a Rosebud. Wait, did we pull Macrocosmos maybe out of Raw Yellow the first time? Yeah, Macrocosmos is an ultra rare in both sets. So <laughs> yeah, okay, interesting. I wonder how the prices differ. Raw Yellow, it, these sets are so similar. It's very weird. Like they made a set Two sets that are almost the same. Like, they have a lot of the same cards. Shut and Doji, Gladiator's Return. We got Giroth, Lightsworn Warrior for, for Lightsworns. We got Six Samurai, Iru, H Heated Heart, eh, Hero Blast. Wow, it feels like uh, another Lightsworn. It feels like the raw yellow is kind of falling off right now. But they do have four extra packs, but they also have that negative 40 point. I mean, I'm assuming those are 10 bucks each for those promo packs. I'm not totally sure. Hero Mask, Grandio Super Rare, Darkness Destroyer. Wolf Lightsworn Beast Ultra Rare. That's a solid pull. 
and Elemental Hero Ocean also can be used in Edison. E-Emergency Call is a good one, but I don't think that, that used to be like a dollar every time. I don't think it is anymore. Okay, Raw Yellow Mega Pack, you gotta believe. Let's do this. Will we pull something big? Let's go. We already got the Cyber Dragon though, so that's pretty good. Magical Mallet, we got the Disc Commander, solid. Six Samurai, come on. E-Emergency Call, this is literally one of the best cards. Secret Rare E-Emergency Call, beautiful. Crystal Beast, Topaz, Tiger, maybe worth a little bit, and Card Ejector. So E-Emergency Call, I think, is a $20 plus dollar card. Very strong right there. Okay, I just double-checked the price guide because we pulled that, and I realized Dimensional Fisher is actually the best card, and we've already pulled it. So we pulled that second is E-Emergency Call. So those are both big money. And then I noticed that I forgot Neos Wiseman Ultra Rare and Raya and Mega Pack, uh, or excuse me, in Legendary Collection 2, is huge money. That's the number one card, and it's an ultra rare. Whoa, a flame wingman, seeker rare. Wow, that is nice. Cash, I think this is a terrible one, but okay. Flame wingman, that's gonna be worth a few bucks. We have so many card troopers now. Good thing they just reprinted it, you know, as a regular rare in a collector rare set, so there's a million of them everywhere, but you know, still a nice card. Okay, raw yellow. This is gonna be, I bet both of these end up with over a hundred bucks in value. That's why I get oh, 100 bucks is a lot. Maybe like 75, something like that. System down, we got Fusion Recovery. I think GX easily. I think they're going to win as of right now because with the 40 extra, U Bell's nice. It's going to be hard. Miracle Fusion. Oh, Laquari. So Raw Yellow, I think, just has Laquari as Secret Rare. So this is the one we needed. Raw Yellow Mega Pack, Gladiator Beast La Laquari is very, very nice Secret Rare. We have the Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth, Rainbow Dark Dragon, and Mizuki. Okay, very nice. That's a nice Secret Rare pull. We'll take that all day, every Every day. I need to open a couple times with Ryo Mega Pack back to back because we have a couple extra packs. Glow Moss, very crazy card. We got a San Zanji, I should say. Uh, Rainbow Runes. We got Clear World Super Rare. Another Laquari from the different set. That's insane. So we have back to back Secret Rare Laquaris from different sets, but yet they're the same card. <laughs> Armor Tile, the Chaos Phantom, and Crystal Abundance. Pretty cool. So, hey, that's both copies you really need. You might play three of them. Who knows? All right, we're going to do back-to-back -back raw yellows here and see if we can, uh, you know, make a comeback because they're going to need it. They're going to need it on the scoreboard. We have the Element, or Destiny Hero Plasma. We have Gladiator Beast Lanista. I don't even know that one, really. We have Stratos. This is a few dollars. That's a pretty good one. Uh, Chimera Tech Overdragon Rare. Double-Edged Sword Technique. It's an Ultra... You can't make this up. That's three straight secret rare quarries. That's an entire play set. And then a light in dragon super rare. Wow, what a wild set of packs right there. Ryula Mega Pack and Legendary Collection GX. We just pulled an entire set of Laquari. That's pretty cool. And now we're going back to back on Raw Yellow so that we can have an even number of packs. There's a Mudball Man or Common. Test Tiger, a great common there. Magical Mallet, Venominaga, Six Samurai, Yuriza, Ultra Rare, Oh, Oversoul, and Destiny Signal, Super Rare. So, hey, that's a Test Tiger, I think. I think it was like five bucks, something like that. So that's big value. All right, let's do three uh, raw yellows because they did have four extra packs. So this will this will catch them up by two when we do this right here. We have uh, offerings to the snake deity, Bristina Strix Common, Rainbow Gravity, Ubel the Ultimate Nightmare, Six Samurai Nasashi. I feel like we have a whole Six Sam deck, which is kind of bad because Six Sams are not very valuable or very good. This is the third best card. So we've now pulled the top three cards of the set. Super Polymerization, Secret Rare, and then Crystal Ray Geki. It's going to be ironic if we pull like all the best cards and then like lose the Legendary Collection GX. I guess that would prove GX is better. All right, back to Legendary Collection GX. Being unlimited, it, I mean, I don't know if that's going to hurt it too much. It doesn't seem like it is. We got Prisma, Heroes Bond, Malicious Fiend, Super Rare. We got Ubel Terror Incarnate, so they are rares in Raya Mega Pack. They're secrets in GX. White Knight Dragon Ultra Rare, and then Dark Calling. Probably used to be money, but I think it came out in what the uh, the Bakora Legendary Duelist, right? Wasn't that it? What was it called? Immortal Destiny or something? I'm pretty sure that was in that set. So it's probably not worth much anymore, but we'll see. Judgment Dragon, JD, right at the front. We have Great Shogun Sheehan, Rainbow Gravity, Gladiator Beast War Cherry. This was about 250 as a rare, I think. That was a Ruxin special right past the Uriza. Not a big deal. We have the Crystal Blessing. Not great. Crystal Raigeki. Here's the problem. I think the main difference here between these two sets is... In Raw Yellow Mega Pack, they made a couple of archetypes that are just not very good into the secret rares. So they have like Crystal Beast and Six Sam versus Legendary Collection GX and stuff like Glad Beast mostly and stuff like that. And then like the, the big cards like Cyber and Dragon, the heroes. So those aged a lot better in terms of value. There's a rare value, speaking of value. Super Poly, oh, 
Plus they both pulled a super poly. That's big. Dimensional Prison, that's our third of that. And then Terra Firma Gravity. So another huge pack for Legendary Collection GX. And I think it does have to do a lot with the archetypes they chose. Yeah, the uh, the six Samurai and the Crystal Beast just can't compare with those iconic monsters. Plus the Glad Beast, which is a really popular deck, you know, of all time, basically. Thunder King Ryo, another good common. Gladiator's Return, offering the Snake Deity. Yubel, big, big rare. That's nice. Lumina, also a great card. So Lumina is a great choice. Like the Light Swords is a good thing. They're still pretty popular. Necro Garden is a good Secret Rare. And then Light in Dragon. I don't think Light in Dragon's too crazy, but another Cyber Dragon and an Avian Alt Art. Okay, we're going to do one more Raw Yellow to get him caught up. We are getting toward not quite the end, but we have, you know, we're getting there. We have a Thunder King Ryo here. It feels like there has been a lot of value pulled. We have Divine Neos. I wonder if that's worth any money as a common. This, see, this is a Secret Rare in the other set. It's just a rare here. Uh, Future Fusion, great card. I don't know how much money it's worth. We've pulled like three Crystal Blessing. That's pretty rough. Ruby Carbuncle is a super respite. I, where my ultra rare Gladiator Beast Proving Ground? That's what I need. Okay. Legendary Collection 2. It just like, I, I'm talking like I know the score. It feels like Legendary Collection 2 is winning. I don't actually know that. Necroid Shaman. We got Aqua Neos, but it, they could be. That's going to be a little bit. Phantom of Chaos, maybe because of the, uh, you know, Edison's decent. Cyber Phoenix and Hero Flash. That was not a great pack. So that's good if you are rooting for Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Um, that is good for them. We have, I would guess, like six packs left of each. So about 12 packs of our 44 we've opened today. Somewhat of a longer video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we off to a weird start when, we, you know, we didn't save the video, but seems like it's working better now. Divine Neos, Wing Crew Bell level nine. I think 10 was big. Instant Fusion, that's worth a few bucks. Very nice. Neos Alias, also maybe a dollar. And Grand Mole. I think we've got three of those. Rainbow Neos could be also be good as a common. Just feels like so many good cards and so much potential in these. So much potential. Who will pull it off? You guys might have probably a better idea than I do. That's a big one. That's a big common. I think that's a few bucks. We got a Neos Patient Air Hummingbird. Ruxin Special Path the Tempest, which is actually a good card. To the Alternate Art Sparkman Secret Rare and Defensive Tactics. That's a Glad Beast card. Uh, very nice. Wow, that was a great pack. I literally like can't stop for two seconds without having a great pack. This is insane. But to be fair, I mean, this was like a $300 box and these were like about 300 bucks for the four of them. They actually came out really evenly. So about $600 opening. So we should get some good stuff theoretically. Uh, Stratos, very nice. Mudball Man. Uh, Stratos is like 250, I think. Sheehan, we've got Glider Beast War Chariot. That I think is 250. Iru, probably not much. Crystal B, getting more crystal stuff. That is the worst part. The secret rare slots are just rough in Raw Yellow Mega Pack. It's really killing everything. And then in here, it's like almost every secret rare is a banger. So that's like the big difference to me, it seems like. It, it's going to be funny if they're actually losing, even with the secret rare slot like that. Counter attack, we got Woodsman, super rare. Hoplomus, okay, another glad beast. I'm happy about that. We got a Octavius. You don't really use that one too much. Crystal Blessing. Hey, look, it's just a rare in this one, not a freaking secret rare. So that's much better. Okay, I miscalculated. There's actually six raw yellow mega pack left. Oh, there's five here. Okay, so there's 11 total. So yeah, we can open this. We'll be even. That'll be perfect. That'll make it work. All right, system down. Magical Mallet. We have Test Tiger and great common. Good. We got you Belter Incarnate. Nice rare. We got a Gladiator Pooping Ground. Pooping Ground. Very nice. Gladiator Pooping Ground. Okay, oh, over soul and Emerald Tortoise. So I asked for the Proving Ground and I received it. I don't know if you guys, I've, I've mentioned this a few times, but uh, this is how you guys, uh, you know, learn how to open. You just ask for what you want and then you pull it. That's how it works. I mean, we've been doing it recently. We've got the Bubble Man. Man, this is a crazy opening. Mudball Man, Super Rare, Darkness Destroyer, White Knight Dragon, and Crystal Beacon, just a rare. Okay, and all. But yeah, oh yeah, why was I doing that? Like there's gonna be a foil after that. I've opened like a hundred of these. Maybe that's why I'm just losing it. Down to the last eight packs. What will we pull? Oh no, 10% battery. Man, we're having all kinds of technical issues today. All right, phone is on low battery. With tech for technical difficulties coming up. All right, we have a uh, raw yellow mega pack, our fifth to last pack here. We have opened a whole box. So far, some pretty good pulls. Fusion recovery, Judgment Dragon's always awesome. Cyber in Dragon, Wolf Lights from Beast, probably pretty solid. Neos Alias, number two, I think. And then the Tortoise. Nothing too crazy there, but pretty nice stuff. Eight total packs left. I, I want to know the score. I can't wait to rewatch this video after my uh, my editor is done editing it. I'm excited to see. Oh, wow. Rux and Special. I, it's only the Super Rare goes away. We got the Dreadmaster. No uh, Super Rux and Specials today, though. We got a Destiny Draw. Cyber Dragon. So we got both versions of Cyber Dragon and Hollow. And of course, the Rare. And then Gladiator's Return with the Infernal Gainer. Cool. Raw Yellow, I believe in you. You can do this. The raw yellow mega pack. We have card blocker. We have offering the snake deity power bond. 
The Phenomenaga that he did with Poison and Snakes. All right, Lumen of the Lights weren't Summoner. Necro Garden, see, that's like one of the best secrets, I feel like. It's kind of okay. Hero Signal. It's at least just not really bad. Rainbow Neos, also a great common. I really wish Rainbow Neos was the price it was before. It used to be like a $10 common, like randomly. So we would have like four of those, which would be crazy. Lonely King Ryo, a great common. Rainbow Ruins, Chance Chancellor, super rare. Disc Commander, nice secret rare and crystal release not that great you know they only put them in the ultra slots there's a few bad ones there but not too too bad raw yellow will you be able to pull out the w this has been a very fun opening i've enjoyed it the divine neos plasma is probably good lanista level nine dimensional prison great pull we've got a lot of those secret rare malicious i forgot this was in here this is a great one actually secret rare malicious one of the best secret rares cobalt eagle we got rainbow dragon uh, okay, yeah, a bunch of a bunch of stuff in there with the old commons, but yeah, Malicious is a really good one, actually. Two packs to go. We've actually pulled a lot of the good secrets, just only like one copy of each. We've pulled a lot of the bad ones, though. Survivor, we got Light of Redemption, Destiny and Dragoon, Super, CS Skyscraper 2, that's not that great. Miracle Fusion Ultra, and Glow Neos! This is the one that's like eight bucks. So that's a huge rare. So it's kind of a dud pack in terms of value, and that definitely turned it around. Miracle Fusion is a great card, though, so not like just bad cards, but not very valuable because I think Miracle Fusion does have several prints and like hollow prints and stuff. Two packs left of Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Will we get another Malicious to make it, you know, playable? You got to have two of them. Chimera Tech, Over Dragon, Yaichi, Destiny Draw. Okay, if you, you can ditch the Malicious and then the Destiny and Dragon's not bad either. Dra wait. Dark and Dragon. What am I saying? I'm mixing Dragoon and Destiny. Yeah, you know, I'm just falling apart, guys. One pack of each left. Because I think Raw Yellow is probably behind, I'm going to let them go last. Let's do Legendary Collection 2, D Counter. We have the Elements of Captain Gold, Yuriza, Magma Neos, Gladiator Beast Hoplimus, our second one of those. Rainbow Dragon. We didn't get any Best ERE or anything like that, but still a pretty good opening for Glad Beast. We've got two of the Proving Ground as well, so not terrible. One more Raw Yellow Mega Pack. I don't know how much they're down. They could be close for all I know. I think there's been a lot of value on both sides. Let's see. Maybe we can make a comeback right here let's get something big there's a there's several pretty big cards that we could pull we need like a crazy pack with the great secret great ultra all that stuff shun doji we have a elemental stratus that's a good start that's a 250 common groth okay not terrible six samurai zanji eh, not that great and a crystal beacon all right that sums it up pull a lot of crystal beasts not that crazy we at least got a good common in there i guess not too too bad but I think overall it was a pretty good battle. Here's the score. You guys can see it on the screen with how close it was. I think it was pretty awesome. It was a lot of value pulled in both of them. I'm going to say GX1 on oh my guess. We'll see if I'm right or not. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic versus battles like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jantz, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.